Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. Um, I got this client on my mind who wanted me to make interactive buttons. I'm building this website, they want interactive buttons, but they did not want Flash. So, we have to build this out of JavaScript and CSS. And this is what I've come up with. These two buttons that hovers, you know, when you hover over them, they'll, they'll, when you click one, this is one is when you click it, it'll make a sound. This one is when you hover over it, it'll make a sound. Okay, um, I'm gonna let you guys hear the sound. Don't use this sound for your websites. It's pretty annoying. Use a click or a tick sound. You know when you click, um, flash types to go like a like a ting or a tick tick or a k -k 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 kind of sound. You know something like that you want to use. Don't use this one. It's just for the tutorial because I want it pretty loud so you guys can hear. Okay, so this is the effect I came up with. That one is when you click it does that now i have created two one is when you hover over it like when you put your mouse over the rollover state that will make the sound okay you can use both effect on the same button so when they hover they get when they hover they get one sound like a like a ding and when they click it goes click you know like something so you can use them both in the same button to get the effect but you gotta get the general idea <coughs> Okay, so this one is actually a pretty cool function, which I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to activate this function on my next, not that function. Where is my, yeah, it actually it is this function. They are set to one. Okay, so this is a function, and I'm going to show you guys, once we get back to Dreamweaver, not the Dreamweaver, to the browser, what this function does. I just activated, I deactivated it for the first, um, <clears throat> For the first example and I activate it now so when you get back you guys will see a difference okay let's run through the JavaScript real fast uh, I'm not gonna type it out but I'm gonna put this link in the description to get this entire file so you guys can um, examine use do whatever you want with it okay <clears throat> so this is var so what all this right here is doing from line 9 to 33 is saying it's telling the browser to play the file okay it's saying var HTML audio type Okay, and it defines a file extension. So we're defining file extension, all the possible sound file extensions out there, which is MP3, MP4, OGG, Wave. There's more. You can add them here if you want to add more. Okay, this function is saying play these files if they're available. So create sound, sound files, document type, element, audio. So it's telling turn. It's an audio file right there. So this is just telling it run the file. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. Now this else statement is saying if the browser does not support this function, okay, it's saying return click play function. It says throw error, and this is your browser does not support HTML5 audio, unfortunately. Okay, here is where we actually tell it which file to play, and I put a comment there so you guys will know. It says and this is for the mouse over effect. And the other one is for the click effect. So it says var mouse over equals create sound. So it's saying play the sound, create sound bytes. Play the sound, and this is the name of the file. Button dash two wave. And then I have button dash two mp3. So I save it in wave and mp3 file. The reason I've done that and the reason I've specified that. So you could specify a dot ogg. So you could go <clears throat> comma quote quote. Inside a comma, you could say OGG. You know what I mean? You could say, I'm not going to stop it from that, dot OGG. You don't want to use capital letters, obviously, but just for the tutorial. So <clears throat> that's what you'd want to do if you want to add more files. So if one browser does not support this one, it will run that one. Okay? Now the whole CSS is for the button. I'm not going to go through that. You guys can take the files and research that as much as you want. Now down in the body of the section of the page, what we've done is create a div tag, which this is a div tag <coughs> right here. And in the div tag, we name it, we put the text that we want to show up, which is called sexy button. That's what I decided to call it. Yeah, gay, I know. <coughs> and then we wrap it in, we link the entire div tag. So we wrap a link tag around it. So this is saying a href, and you put whatever you want to link it to here. And it says unclick. It says clip sound. So it's firing back 
the link up to the JavaScript here. So it's telling the browser to run this function from JavaScript. Click, click sound that play clip. Let's jump to the JavaScript up here. <coughs> Sorry. So all this right here again is doing the same thing down here. And if you guys remember that. So it's just referenced into the Java file and you have to put this in there parentheses and then quote and then you can close off your tag now this one is the exact same thing except instead of having click sound it has mouse over sound because remember one was mouse over and one was click so that's what we've done so that, I'm just going to hit save all again just to be sure when we'll go back to the browser you guys are going to see the effect I was talking about so let's do a refresh now when I hover over this button watch what happens it's going to pop out at me See, it jumps out at me, and that's what the CSS effect, and that's all CSS. That's not working with Java. I'm, JavaScript is only for the sound file. That pop-out effect is CSS. So you can give your but make your buttons interactive without ever touching Flash. So that's the tutorial, guys. You can mess around with the code however you like. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to stick them in the comments or send me a message, and I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. You can create some pretty damn cool effect. You can make it spin. You can make it do whatever. And I'm going to pause and add a spin effect to this, and I'll come back on screen, and I'll show you guys what I did. You know what? I just decided I'm going to type it out on screen. I don't know why I told you I was going to come back anyway. So let's do Moz, and we're going to do Transform. And after transform, we're going to do the matrix function. Let's do matrix. And our matrix, uh, what should I set my matrix as? So I'm going to do 1, comma, 1, comma, 0, comma. And I'm going to do 2, comma, 4, 0, comma, 2, 0, comma. And I think that's one of my effects that I've done before. So I'm just doing this completely out of memory. So hopefully that works. <laughs> And I'll show you guys what that does. So let's hit save all. Jump back to the browser. We're going to refresh this. Oops. Refresh. Watch the matrix. Oops. Matrix is not happening. Hold on. Okay, guys. So I've added two more functions in here, which is the transform function, which is the exact same thing. I just didn't use the Mars. So I had add the transform and I add a WebKit to one of the transform. The WebKit is for Internet Explorer and um, Safari. So it seems that Firefox does not support this function because Safari displays it just fine. See, that's the matrix function. Firefox displays it just fine, just not Google and just not Firefox, which is kind of weird, but yeah. So that's the matrix function, guys. You can add those to your buttons, too. You can add skew and distort, all kind of crap. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. See you guys later.